to wondering um, if you can all hear me, will you just raise? Beautiful, Renee. Thank you so much. Just let me know that you can um, hear me okay, because the uh, the microphone's been a little trippy today. So um, I see that there are some questions. If you will put your questions, thank you, Joanne. If you will put your questions in the chat, they will be responded to. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Uh, if you have any questions, thank you, Mary. If you have any questions, please email faith at teamkennedy.com. I know there were some questions about we, the people, and you can go to uh, kennedy24.com forward slash we, the people. There's also an event in Los Angeles on Wednesday night that will be, thank you, Virginia, that will be about educating everyone about we, the people. So um, there is a lot happening. Um, Mr. Kennedy may be coming to a place in your town. So, oh, Richard, I love that. Richard had a dream last night that RFK Jr. was the president. And that's why we're here. We are here to absolutely hold him high, to see him, to envision, and to speak the word. Uh, again, I'm Reverend Wendy Silvers, and it is my joy and my honor to be here with you. Like, just such an honor. And I, I want to say that this is all faiths. All faiths are welcome here. All faiths are honored that we come here to meet in the heart and that in the heart, we are all one with this presence. So we have this opportunity to raise high because many people absolutely know the power of the spoken word because it's a frequency. Words have and hold frequency. They hold units of energy. So we have this opportunity for those that are catching this vision of RFK Jr. as our president, as the only choice, we come together and we join in a united state of consciousness and the power of that consciousness uniting in the name of all that is holy, in the name of Jesus, in the name of all, Atman, Buddha, all of it. Because when you distill the truths that are, that are taught in all religions and all spirituality, the commonality is oneness and love. So we are here as these radiant, effulgent expressions holding this space for Robert F. Kennedy Jr., for his lovely wife, Cheryl Hines, for their children, for their families, for Team Kennedy, for all of you, and for the citizens of the world. As we blanket him in prayer, it ripples out into the world. She did. I did. I said kennedy24.com forward slash we dash the dash people. So we have uh, we have this opportunity. Um, it's such an opportunity. It's such a joy. It's such an honor to be with you here this day. So thank you for being here. And again, uh, if you have any questions, if there's something that we can do to support you, please put it in the chat. And or you can send an email to faith at teamkennedy.com and we will respond. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. We are here to support you. We, we really want you to know how much um, you matter. These prayers are so deeply appreciated by Mr. Kennedy. I want you all to know that. So I'm going to move into how this time together will roll out. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to read something to you and then I'm going to invite you to do, there is Sharon Jimenez. Thank you, Sharon. Um, Sharon, at some point, Sharon, I would love for you to, why don't you take a moment right now, Sharon, and I'm going to unmute you. Will you speak just uh, briefly about We the People so that the people here can hear it. Let me find you on this list here. Uh, and so there you are, Sharon. Okay. 
we're going to get this first. Sharon, I'm I'm giving you the opportunity to unmute. Can you can you I'm unmute unmuting myself? There you are, my dear. Okay. So please Hi, everyone, a blessed Sunday to everyone uh, that's here to pray for this wonderful campaign. And uh, I'm such a huge fan of all of yours because everybody is doing so much for the people's campaign. And we all know that it's a formidable challenge for all of us to work together, pray for each other, and of course, pray for our candidate, his wife and his family for their protection and good health. And, and also to pray for our own campaign and all the people that are trying to work together as best they can. So in California, um, Wendy gave me an opportunity to update you all. In California, we are registering as we the people. We need 77,000 Californians. So if anyone who's not in California, if you have any family or friends in this state, I think one in nine Americans lives in California now. Uh, ask them to register as we the people. We have 40 million people in California. We only need 70, 77,000 to join the We the People Party. And um, we're, we're working on a campaign uh, to get this up and running. Imagine how powerful Kennedy will be in the largest state in the union when he actually has a party. So the We the People Party will even add to the to the to the enormous power of this that will that will fan out throughout the nation once we have this party because it will lift all boats. It'll give us a chance to fundraise in a way that we can't fund now uh, in in a state where there's an enormous amount of wealth and, and power and influence. So we're really hoping to get this off the ground and we need everybody to help us and we're going to be having a volunteer uh, kickoff, I think, on Monday night, Wendy, and uh, also in Spanish, because we're pushing the Spanish language as well. Uh, the majority minority in California now is Hispanic. And so uh, we're also simultaneously trying to get that off the ground as well. So happy to be here. Bless all of you this Sunday. Thank you, my dear Sharon. Such an honor. To, uh, it's such an honor to be part of this team uh, and to hold this space. There's beautiful souls and each and all of you, each and all of you are the visionaries. Each and all of you are the pioneers of what is possible, that you have caught this vision for this great man who I, uh, you will hear, I know that this will come through in the prayer that he is just anointed for this role to take on this mantle that he has said yes to. So you being here, your prayers, your presence, getting involved, staying involved, staying engaged and, and joining in the, in the states where we do we the people so that, because what I know is that one with God is a majority. And so there is no power and no, no, no seeming man made power that can keep this man, the good from this man, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. from pouring forth. So we have this opportunity here and now, and then for coming forward with We the People in California and the event on Monday and Wednesday night. So we are here, this is a community. You know how Martin Luther King Jr. talked about the beloved community? Well, my experience of each and every person that is gathered here in this circle and the people that are on the campaign is that these are awakened beings who are part of a beloved community, who believe in freedom, who believe in love, who believe in truth and transparency, who believe in having choice, which is where we the people comes in. So that opportunity to make a different choice, right? We get to choose higher. We're here so that we get to absolutely raise our consciousness. And then we get to go out into the world and spread that everywhere you go. So again, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to read something to you. Then I'm going to lead you through something that is called envisioning. Then I'm going to speak the word. Then we're going to close. And then we're going to take this love, take this vibration out. It ripples. You, you know, energy is non-local. You cannot, you cannot withhold something from, from 
absolutely bursting forth. And I'm hearing someone unmuted. So what I'm going to do is just jump in there right now and mute everybody um, so that we have a clean recording. Um, and uh, let's see here. There we go. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go now. All right. So I just invite you to, yes, I hear you, Deborah. I invite you in this moment to just exhale and then take a deep inhalation. Allow that breath to rise. Slowly exhale. And allow your eyes to close and move your awareness into your heart space. And as you hear these words, you may have heard me read this before, and you will probably hear me read this again because it's very meaningful. It is St. Francis of Assisi. And so here is what he said. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O oh, divine master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned. It is in dying to self that we are born to eternal life. So I just invite you to allow those words to just fall upon your heart as we move into the envisioning process. And so this process is going to engage your imagination, but it's going to be fueled by the passion of your heart for Robert F. Kennedy Jr. as president. So I want you to bring into your awareness this great soul, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., this great man. I want you to see him. I want you to see him so radiant. I want you to see him so vibrant, so vital, so filled with robust health. Just see him strength and see him as he is moving from activity to activity, from, from task to task, just see him smiling, see him radiant, see him so healthy and vibrant. See this light that beams from his heart and surround him with this beautiful golden, golden white light of the creator. Just see him surrounded, indwelled, saturated, permeated with this beautiful light, this beautiful love, and see him as he's walking, as he's talking, see him with his family, see him as he's traveling by bicycle, whether he's working out or he's going to a rally, whether he's going to a town hall, whether he's going to an interview, just see him, that car, train, plane, automobile, helicopter, just see him and just see the reception, just see hearts are open, receptive, just see hearts that were hardened, softening, see the receptivity in the people at the rallies, at the interviews, even in the legacy media, see that people's heads are turning, people's eyes are opening, people's ears are are opening, just see the response that is rippling as he travels, it ripples, it goes before him. So he walks into these receptive atmospheres, these environments that people are welcoming him. See the ballots, see signatures just 
just rippling up, just see them, them piling up on we the people and on the ballots, just see signatures upon signatures upon signatures, just see people cheering, just see that there is a receptivity that may not have, have existed before that exists now. Just see that there is a that there is a, a decrease and a, dis, a dismissal of resistance, that there is an openness everywhere he goes. And in the polls, he is just rising and rising and rising and rising. And the signatures are increasing and increasing. And people are just saying, yes, yes, yes. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. as president, just see him traveling, see that every single thing that he is doing is being, being received with open hearts, with open minds. See these town halls expanding beyond the building. See these rallies being just so well attended that they are just all expectations are just increased and there's no absolutely no limit it's unlimited unlimited receptivity unlimited welcoming everywhere he goes as he continues to walk in the direction of that inaugural day just see him walking and just see things just fall one thing into the other into place beautifully magnificently miraculously divinely this is what is happening and just see that he is walking in, see the day of inauguration, see him uh, on the podium, see his hand on the Bible, just see the crowds. No, there has never been crowds like this before for another Kennedy in the White House. Just see his hand on the Bible. He's saying yes. Just see First Lady Cheryl, just see her just beaming, see the family being, see the beaming, see the team beaming, seeing, seeing the country just rising up in just such great joy that is happening. Just see that this is happening and expanding everywhere he goes. And it is just so magnificent. You can feel the swelling across the land. You can feel hearts are opening. Even people that don't understand why they're smiling and saying, yes, they're saying, yes, RFK Jr. as our president, RFK Jr., President Kennedy. Yes, 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 yes. See him in the Oval Office. See, just see the team, see this extraordinary cabinet, just seeing peace breaking out all over across the land, across the continents, just see world leaders smiling, just see his terms, see him having more than one term, just see him so vibrant and healthy, just see that there is such a receptivity that he literally transforms the consciousness of the United States and the world, and that his legislation is so life affirming for each and every citizen of the United States and of the world. He is so beloved. He is so welcomed. Everything is working together in such a perfect and divine order. It is so magnificent. See him having more than one term. Just see him absolutely radiant. See him as he is continuing to be this beautiful, benevolent leader. He is the healer in chief. He is healing so many divides in so many different stratas and that he is absolutely divinely led. Just feel into what that feels like to see him on inaugural day, see him at the inauguration, see Cheryl Hines and see the kids and see the family and see the team. Feel what it feels like to be so invested and enrolled and excited and jubilant about this great man as the president. Feel what it feels like that, that exhilarates of him that you got this, you saw this, you were a part of something historical. Just feel into that because that energy goes forth and prepares the way. Feel that surrounding him and Cheryl Hines and their kids and their families and the team and you just feel that it's magnetic. It ex it's, it is expansive. Just feel that. Feel that elevation. Feel the luminous quality. Just see. Just see this happening. Bring it into your awareness. Allow it to expand beyond the horizon. Just see celebrations upon celebrations, seeing his terms, seeing his presidency, seeing him as he continues to grow grow in the public, see what he's doing, what changes he has made, transforming different structures. Just see it. <sighs> mm. 
And so how very grateful, how very thankful I am for this opportunity to join in consciousness with each and every person here, honoring, acknowledging this divine appointment, this divine opportunity to come together and celebrate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. as president. How great, grand, and glorious it is to recognize this presence of love, this presence of truth, this divine intelligence called God, this generating, organizing divine presence that is called by thousands of names in thousands of different languages and is always the one, the one power, the one presence, the one life, the one love, the one breath that is breathing each and every person, this presence that is beating everyone's heart, this one who is called Jesus, Jehovah, Yahweh, Hashem, all that is Allah, Muhammad, Buddha, Moses, all that is, whatever name that it is called, it answers for it is the one. And each and every person meets in the heart of God in this unified field, honoring and celebrating and declaring love and appreciation and support for Robert F. Kennedy Jr., recognizing his divine appointment in this moment, just pausing and letting everything that has come before this present moment fall away and moving into this unified field of oneness, not sameness, but oneness in celebration, in declaration of Robert F. Kennedy Jr. as president. Surrendering any preconceived ideas or notions about anything and recognizing, uniting in the heart surrounding Robert F. Kennedy Jr. in this light and this love of the creator, knowing that he is one with the one, that he is a divine expression of the most high good, the most high God, the most high love, that he is open and available and receptive to moving in the direction of his soul call, that he is on his path, that this presence just pours itself into him as he moves through every single activity, every single task from the most mundane to the most high, that it is all one in the same because it is God directed and he is God directed. He is God sustained, that he is divinely guided, guarded, protected, directed, sustained, and maintained by this infinite and visible presence that so loved itself that it recreated itself and calls itself by his name. RFK Jr. is here as anointed and appointed to take on this mantle as president of the United States. Oh my God, how glorious is thy name and thy nature. And that each and all of us are here to stand in proxy, to stand united in declaring that Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is the president, is the future president, is the now president in this now of now moments. We each and all of us come together to hold this field, to absolutely know and to bless Robert F. Kennedy Jr. as he continues his travels, as he moves from, from home to car, to plane, to train, to to helicopter, to town hall, to rally, to the Oval Office, as he continues to walk, that each and all of us have his back, knowing that this divine presence is right where he is, indwelling, surrounding, permeating, and saturating every cell, every organ, every action and function of his body, his mind, and his spirit, that this divine God, love, intelligence, this great, grand, and glorious God goes before him, to make smooth any jagged edges, walks alongside him. So he knows he is always covered and blesses and transmutes everything that has come before this present moment into that which is for his highest and greatest good as he walks this road to the Oval Office, to the term as president, to being this great way shower, bringing consciousness into politics, bringing heart-centered consideration and mindfulness and decency and integrity into politics, 
as president of the United States. So I know that he is poured into. I know that he is covered. I know that he is surrounded, indwelled, permeated, saturated. I know that I bless also Gavin De Becker and his extraordinary team that surrounds him and surrounds Cheryl and their kids and the family, and Team Kennedy, blessing each and every person who volunteers, who works on the campaign, who gives so much day in and day out to support this vision of Robert F. Kennedy Jr. as president. I bless each and every person. I know that they are here by divine appointment as well, that they have caught this vision and they go forward to help support this being made manifest. For this is, this is a divine idea in the mind of God whose time has come. And I also bless each and every person, not only on this prayer call, but each and every person who has said yes around the country and around the world to support this man becoming president of the United States, blessing each and every person, acknowledging them for being the pioneers of what's possible, to being pioneers of the future goodness of Robert F. Kennedy Jr. as president. I know that great and beautiful things are seeking expression through and as each and every person, and specifically Robert F. Kennedy Jr. And we know that he is surrounded. We know that he is stepping out beyond anything he has ever done before and that he is supported. So we bless the policymakers and we bless the speech writers and we bless the schedulers and we bless every single detail and aspect, whether I have named it or not named it. I know that it is blessed and beautiful we bless we the people. We bless this third party that Mr. Kennedy created, knowing that too is a divine idea in the mind of God. There is something evolutionary and revolutionary about this campaign. It is so historic and that each and every person here and each and every person around the country and around the world is catching this. Their ears are opening, their eyes are opening, their mind is expanding, their hearts are softening and opening to receive this vision of a new way, of a new day, of a new, new, new way of being in politics where kindness and compassion and decency and integrity and consideration are the very structures where truth and transparency is the very activity of the legislation where any corruption or deception dissolves into the native nothingness from whence it came and in its place rises up this legislation that honors each and every citizen in the very depth of their being, calling forth peace, peace being more important than war, calling forth humanity, healing, healing any divide within a person, within a place, within a thing. And what comes to my mind is the invitation that his uncle said, ask not what the country can do for you, but what you can do for the country. And this man is saying, yes, this man has stepped forward to be this place. And each and all of us have said yes too. So we come together as a force. We are a force that cannot be made or rent asunder. So I know that as this word is being spoken, I know that it ripples out into the universe and that there is a waking up, there is a stability and a security that is happening that surrounds Robert F. Kennedy Jr., First Lady Cheryl Hines, the kids, their families, the team, and each and every person. I know that something beautiful and blessed is happening right now. And it continues to unfold even after this prayer comes to a close. This I know. I know this to be the truth. I know that something miraculous continues to happen. I know that this, this presidency, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., president of the United States, is divinely appointed a divine idea in the mind of God. So I know that this and more continues to unfold in the most beautiful, pristine, blessed, and divine way. And for this, and so much more than words can say or eyes can see, I know this word goes forth and it is made manifest I rest in this, I know it is done, I know it is so, and I say, and so it is. And so I let it be. Amen.
Amin, Ashe, Aho, Mahalo, Shalom, Salam, Hotep, Yahweh Swenio, Hallelujah, it is done. Now. Thank you all for being here. I invite you to take that reverence, that tone that you may have tapped into in this prayer. Take it with you wherever you go and know that you are a magnificent expression of the Most High God and that we have all caught this vision for Robert F. Kennedy, Jr. as president. And we are here for you. Email us, faith at teamkennedy.com. We will have more, more great gatherings to share with you. And peace, peace and love. Mm -hmm. Yes. In the name of all that is holy. Peace and so many blessings. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you.